Right, Shalom, Israel. First off, I would like to give our glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bahar HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine. I learned this truth from according to the Bible. Okay, I'm the Akim Ha'amayan. And I would like to say Shalom to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and our righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth. To the sincere believers and a few off I would like to say Shalom. Okay. Bad times are approaching this place, man. And evil, okay. Evil times, man. This is Ezekiel chapter 7. And I'm going to start at uh, verse 5. And it reads, so like you. I'm trying to highlight it. That's okay. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. Okay? It said, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, man, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. Strong's H7451, Ra, Ra, and second entry, Ra, Ra, and third entry, Ra, Ra. Okay, Ra. Okay. Um, these evils, man, Hebrew word is Ra. Okay. Say bad evil, bad disagreeable. Uh, malignant, uh, bad, unpleasant, evil, giving pain, unhappiness, misery, evil, displeasing, bad of its kind, bad, worse than, worse, and we come into a time like never before, man, bad times, man, okay, we're coming into bad times, all these things are coming and down on America, and Two-thirds are not able to see this. Only the remnant are able to see it because it was ordained for them to see. It was ordained by Yahweh Bashamah Shah for the hopeful elect to have this understanding, this wisdom and knowledge, man, because having this wisdom and knowledge, but now hell break loose, that's what's going to keep us stable in the times of Jacob's trouble, in a time where it's like a time like never before, man. Okay, Lord willing, I bring out those precepts. But I'm about to play this video, and this is the reason I brought out Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5, and evil, and only evil is, is calm, man. There's 10 quick videos. Now to your other top 10 headlines in just two minutes. 28 people shot, including children. Tonight, at least one person has died following a shooting at a rural Arkansas car show on Saturday night. Police say two people were having a gunfight. It's shocking. We have a, a, a small community, a farming community in Dumas, you know, 5,000 people. The four U.S. Marines killed when an Osprey crashed in Norway have been identified. All four were under the age of 30. The crash happened during a training flight. All six people in this Los Angeles County Sheriff's helicopter crash are recovering from their injuries. They were responding to a car crash. A doctor from UCLA was also on board for a ride-along. Crime tourism burglaries are reportedly on the rise. Investigators say many of the crews are from Chile. They're able to obtain tourist visas to travel to California by applying online. They target homes that back up to golf courses and open space and they'll They'll literally stand in the bushes and watch. Talking gas prices, every California taxpayer, regardless of income, will qualify for a $400 gas rebate. The checks could go out as soon as this spring if state lawmakers approve the spending. Gas supply could be hit again. New tonight, more than 500 workers at the Chevron refinery in Richmond told the company they would go on strike on Monday. Breaking into cars at CalFit, that's what Folsom police say led to this crash. Officers found the suspect's car and 
followed them when they crashed into a tree. Two men were arrested. A 19-year-old and 20-year-old under arrest, accused of stealing $1,900 worth of items from a Woodland Rite Aid. They were chased into Natomas. Kanye West has been banned from performing at the Grammy Awards. It is due to, quote, his concerning behavior. Kanye reportedly wrote a racial slur on Grammy host's Trevor Noah's Instagram page. Trevor Noah tweeted, I said cancel Kanye, not cancel Kanye. Today was no ruse day, marking the start of the Persian New Year. It also marks the beginning of spring. Los Angeles is home to the largest Iranian community outside of Iran. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Okay, and now that this is happening right after the Passover, man. Okay. Let me get verse 25. It said, Ezekiel 7 and 25, destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Because it's only for the hopeful elect to have a hedge of protection over them. Okay. Um, the scriptures speak on uh, you receiving benefits and have not known me, man. The same must know it after death by pain. That's the second address, chapter 15. And it reads, um, it says, second address 15 and 22. I'm going to read from 22. To um, just read from 22 to 27, it says, um, My right hand shall not spare the sinners, and my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon earth. The fire is gone forth from his wrath, and have consumed the foundations of the earth, and the sinners like the scroll that is kindled. Woe, meaning destruction, to them that sin and keep not my commandments, said the Lord. I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power. Defile not my sanctuary. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them. For Yahweh shall not deliver you because you have sinned against him. So all of these things are taking place, man, because Yahweh Bashem Shai um, is fed up, man. Second Edges 15 and verse 5. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Why? This verse 6 says, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more, as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. See? Um, Let's get second edges chapter nine and let me start at verse one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And Yahweh Shah is visiting this place, man, with his fierce anger, with his power, man. That's why uh, people are shocked with this judgment, this martial part. All the, your loved ones getting killed, getting uh, brutally injured, or... You know, the earthquakes, the, the storms, the things that's happening, you know, the gas prices, Ukraine and Russia. Okay, this is finna come to America, man. Okay, there's already judgment going on over here, but the same thing happened over there in them countries. It's coming over here to Babylon, man. 
Okay. Spiritually Babylon. Let's get this article I just came across. It says, Vladimir Putin unveils Robocop exoskeleton bodysuit created for Russian soldiers. As body continued to pile up on both sides of the Russian Ukrainian war, and where leaders continue to question Russian President Vladimir Putin's mental stability after arresting his own military leaders, Russia is announcing that they develop a Robocop suit. Hey man, check this out, man. Look at this type of technology they're coming out with, man. Among the rollout of several new high-tech weaponry, Russian Army Defense contractor Oleg Fostov revealed a prototype of an active metallic exoskeleton suit similar to the 1987 film action flick. The suit was developed by Russian weapons manufacturer T.S. Nai Tokmash, paranoid Putin, arrests his own military chief, accusing him of leaking information. So these people are turning it up a notch, but it's ultimately how Bashmao Shy putting those thoughts in their head, man, to do these things, man. Because it's a time like never before. Okay. So you got you got robots, man. So what are your bullets and things like that? What are they going to do to these robots, man? Nothing. These people are going to come with direct energy weapons, man. It says, Fosto spoke about the cybernetically enhanced suit. We have already held trials for the prototype of the active exoskeleton. It really enhances a serviceman's physical abilities. The Russian army has previously tried active power exoskeleton suits before with the intent to give their soldiers lethal cyber cyborg powers. The new suits are designed to augment and enhance troops to help them carry heavier loads and enhance machine gun accuracy over long distances. Hey, man, these people, little do Jake know, but guess what? We're only concerned about how the righteous going to get saved, man. But y'all are in for a rude awakening, man. The Lord is going to visit this place, man. That's how you know. Let's get Daniel. Chapter 12. And verse 1. And at that time, Shall Michael stand up? And Michael is the archangel, man, under Yahweh Shai. And we're going to need all that divine intervention because Esau Edom is going to come down with great wrath, man. And we don't, we, don't, we don't have, okay, carnal weapons in a sense where we can take down Esau Edom, man. We need Yahweh by Shemal Shai, okay? Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And that's called Jacob's trouble, man. Alas, for that day is great. Uh, it is none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, man. That one third, that remnant, okay? Such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Okay. It's a time like never before, man, that's coming to this place, man. Great tribulation. The beginning of sorrows, man. Okay. And call on law, y'all brush my shot. These things are coming to pass, man. I was just telling the brothers in the group text, man, I know the apostles and elders are happy that these things are coming to pass, man, because a lot of people before my time, before I was born, didn't even believe. And people still don't believe. But guess what? It's happening right before your eyes, man. Okay? It's happening right before your eyes, man. The scriptures say destruction cometh. They shall seek peace, but there shall be none. Okay? Let's get Revelation. 12. In verse 12, therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, 
for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knew of that he had but a short time. See, yeah, how about Shemal Shah is finna use Esau Edom, his whooping stick, his sword, as it says in Psalm 17 and 13, to come down, man, and um, destroy. He's finna, he finna destroy. He coming like a madman, sparing none, man. Okay, casting you out of your houses, martial law, FEMA camps. Okay, this is finna happen. This is about to happen, man, on the, on a scale where it never been like this, man. If you don't have wisdom, knowledge, understanding of your how about Hashem, I was shot and truly and sincerely believe, man, you're doomed for destruction, man. Okay. Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. Yahweh Rathazasa one was edified. I would like to close out this lesson by giving all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, that teach and rule well, and labor in 100% doctrine, for I learned the truth from according to the Bible. Shalom warm to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and our righteousness and his sincerity around the four winds of the earth. Okay, to the sensitive believers in a few aquaf, I would like to say shalom, babakasha, 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 ababa, kwamnashallah, barak kal akim, shalom.